Help save the butcher! Help save the butcher! Hi, this is Bob from HelpSaveTheButchers.com and today I'm going to show you how to slice up a whole boneless New York strip. New York strip steaks is an excellent eating steak, especially when grilled, broiled. You can even pan sear them. We have a whole boneless strip in front of us. Now, if you're familiar with beef, you, this is cut from the loin and you might recognize it as the porterhouse steaks. It's the solid side of the porterhouse cut opposite the filet mignon. Now, this piece here is probably about 12 pounds. Average steak, if you're going to grill, I would recommend, because it's a leaner steak, to cut it about one inch thick. We're going to slice this steak into about 12 different pieces. That'll give us one pound slices, and it shouldn't dry out that way by doing it. I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to show you how to divide it evenly. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sharpen my knife. Now, you might not have a knife like this at home, but I have to tell you, you do have to have a good-sized knife to slice this. You don't want to try it with a short knife, as you might not be able to get through the meat. What we're going to do is we're going to even the sides off on this piece. We want to keep our steaks even, and we don't want any piece of meat sticking out farther than the edge. We're going to take the piece, and we're going to measure it by dividing it right in the middle, and we're going to put a little cut on there. We want, Like I said, we want to keep our steaks even. We want all the steaks about the same size. We're going to divide that again, put another little piece there. Now we know we have two even sides here, and the same thing on this side. Now I'm going to take each one of these and I'm going to either take them and divide it and I can do fours on this side or I can do threes and like I said we're going to do threes on this one okay and we're going to measure out threes on them so we know approximately our steaks are going to be a good inch thick. I'm going to keep our hand up against the edge keeping the meat flat. We're going to let the knife do the work we don't want to push hard with it. And we're going to slice down evenly. And we're going to pull back. Do not lift up on the knife. If you lift up, you'll end up with a jagged end on the steak. And that'll make it ripple and cook uneven. Do the same thing again. So again, these are beautiful steaks. And I'm cutting where the marks are. So that way there I don't have to question the thickness on each steak. I've already pre-measured. This is a steak my wife likes. Personally, I prefer something with a little bit more fat to it, like a ribeye. But we find that my wife and some of my daughters prefer something a little bit leaner. And it's still a good eating steak, as the ribeye is. But they don't have to hassle with all the interior fat on it, because it's solid meat all the way through the middle. Now. Like I said, don't forget, make sure your ends are even. We're getting near the end here. We're going to slice this. And take the last piece and split it. There we go. There we have 12 beautiful steaks that will eat great on the grill. If you do want to take off some of the excess fat, just be careful not to cut into the meat. And just trim them off around the edges. But you can see a New York strip is already a lean piece of meat. Your best grilling steaks are either cut from the loin or the rib. They're able to broil or grill them. The strip steaks, being a little bit leaner, I would be careful not to overcook them. And you can see there's not much waste to these. So if you have a deal from your local butcher of buying the whole strip, you can even ask them to cut it up. I know we don't charge to cut whole primals like this, and we'd be glad to do it for you. But we do find people like to see if they can do it at home themselves. And this is an easy piece of meat to try it with because there's not much that can go wrong other than the thickness of it. And there we go. 12 great eating steaks that'll go great on the grill. You can serve to your friends and family and actually be proud that they are good steaks and you cut them yourself. So this is Bob from HelpSaveTheButchers.com. And don't forget, buy fresh cut meat from your local butcher just like your mom did.